Hinton by far is the most versatile two-way prospect in this year's draft class. If you look up and down the list, I can't see another prospect that brings the same intangibles and, and unique skill set to, to the table. And most importantly, uh, he's still developing. You know, as a sophomore, he definitely possesses, you know, all the things that an NBA-ready rookie should have, in my opinion. And he's a former University of Houston Cougars team captain um, and a son of a preacher man. And he's not your typical NBA prospect, but his character and production will make you into a believer for sure. And it's definitely made us into a believer and want us to, you know, keep up with his uh, progress with, uh, you know, pre-draft process and coronavirus and things like that. And really want to, you know, go about your career, you know, lessons you've learned. And, you know, so our fans and, and your fans have a better understanding of who you are. So welcome to the network, man. How you doing? Glad to have you. Yes, sir. Awesome. Everything's going good this way. Everything's going good. Cool. So uh, what's, it, what's the process been like for you with uh, working out, you know, adjusting to the coronavirus situation and, and uh, you know, staying prepared for the NBA draft? Uh, this process has been a blessing in disguise, honestly. Um, you know, before, um, if I, you know, before I said I was going to go to the draft and things like that, we was trying to figure out um, if I was going to do that and how I was going to work out with, you know, having still having classes with my trainer. Uh, Coach Jody Patton, uh, KOD Sport Skills Academy, and just trying to figure out how we was going to work it out, whether he's going to come to Houston or how I was going to do uh, just the workouts with my school and things like that. But now it's, um, with the coronavirus, it, it kind of let me come home and just work out and just be – get back to the basics of getting back to who I really am, uh, you know, getting away from it a little bit, uh, going to school, but now just working out, weight, uh, weight room, uh, nutrition, all that, just getting back to the basics and getting back to, to I guess, kind of – full steam ahead. So we've been blessed to, you know, not have any hiccups since the coronavirus um, hit. And since uh, we've been in the gym since March. So we've been working on our game, uh, been eating better, eating, getting better uh, food habits, better sleep habits, and just kind of being overall a pro, uh, just just being the best version of myself that I can be and improve myself all, all around. I noticed that you said working on our game. So who in your camp really helps you make these decisions and, and pushes you to be the best player that you can be? Would you credit that to? I credit to, to to myself and and my trainer, Coach Jody Patton. Uh, he's been my trainer since eighth grade. Um, I haven't had um, I have been with anybody else. So he he's just been you know my trainer since eighth grade. You know, through the ups and downs of you know how my journey is the same. It's our journey. It's not really just my own journey. It's our journey too because you know play development is not a a, a two week thing or a, or a yearly a year thing. It's a it's a over the years developing year after year and keep building the blocks uh, to to be the best version of yourself. And so I think that also. His son uh, was playing when I was when I was younger. He coached my brother, uh, and so when when I was younger, I saw him and his son, you know, in the gym working out, and and so that's how we kind of connected. Because my dad uh, seen that his son, the seen the, the talent that his son was at, and then you know my brother played on his team too as well. So then once I I start coming up, I didn't really wasn't start training till till eighth grade, and then when I start connecting with him, I seen his son go out and get thirty. On any given night, and so I'm like, shoot, like I, I want, yeah, like I want to, I want to get to that status. So then he started going uh, to the college, and then going to overseas. Now um, I, I work out with him too. He's a smaller guard, but you know, it's kind of having the same thing, using my my body and, and using my skill set, and having the same things as a little guard can do, so that way I can be versatile as much as I, as possible. Yeah, yeah. So all, all those, those three guys are definitely, and everybody in my camp, um, a lot of guys, everybody that's went on to the next level to college. Uh, division one, division two, everybody that's that's been with us since we've kind of started uh, later on has been got to the next level. So I, I still have that same loyalty to those guys, and we work out and we push each other because we all know our each other's game. So it's 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 a real good thing that we have going on here, and we just overall getting better. Yeah, I love that, man. I love that. A lot of guys, you know, like you said, um, you know, being a former player, I can understand. You know, when you do go to school, you can get away from you know who you are and what you do best, and you know, you went back home and. And you're not fixing what's, you know, not broken. You're going, you know. Right, right. It's just muscle memory. You're just getting your body back to the things that you're used to. Yeah, and still with the same people, most importantly, showing that loyalty. And, and you know, if, if it got to you to this point and still continuing to push you, a lot of guys, you know, once they get this notoriety, like to switch up. And I always think that's interesting, um, you know, because you stay with a certain trainer. Um, you know, things are getting you scholarships, attention. Um, guys like us wanted to talk to you. And, yeah. then, you know, they sign. and you know, go with some of them different. It's like, and then they don't have the same results and wonder why. So I think um, that it's a shout out to you, man, for staying, staying true to what you know and, and continuing to get better and being around a, a, 
uh, camp that can really push you, man. So, what what would you? Yeah, why would you? Why did you start so late, and and how did you develop? You know, increase so quickly. Uh, well, well, I started playing basketball since I was three. I was playing with my older brother. He was on a five and six year old team, and I, I was three years old. But the coach just put me on the team just because you know I was always around. You know, always wanting to be in the mix. So I, I've been playing basketball since I was three, but. I didn't start training until eighth grade. I was behind on that. Everything I had up until eighth grade was just talent and just hooping at the gym, hooping at the YMCA with the older local kids. And, and then seventh grade, I started playing uh, on, at a team out of Charlotte, and we started going to different places, and we started seeing that, oh, shoot, there's better kids than just the kids in our area. And so then seventh grade, going into eighth grade, I'm like, okay, still seeing the same thing. But then eighth grade, going to high school, um, I, I, that's when I wanted to take a jump. Um, I had a tournament in Myrtle Beach, and I seen those guys, and I'm like, I, I want to get to that level. So we, we kind of connected with Coach Jody, and it just the stars kind of aligned, and, and God had a plan, and every and everything. You know, we just connected in there at the gym. So uh, starting eighth grade, start training, and just start getting in from there, and start just having that habit of building those blocks and those foundation of hard work and, and sacrifice, and just getting after it in the gym. And so Dan started. Um, coming into the play, start getting on the uh, scene. You know, I, I was always been a good player. Um, now we're starting to see play on teams. I played on a, um, a high school team, Gaston Day. And we played in some national tournament tournaments, and you know, I was just a young kid. I, I just, you know, I just wanted to be on the court as well. I just wanted to play, so I, I just kind of went out there and just hustled, did all the things that that the team needed me to do with teams that guys that wasn't going to do. And so I just went out there, hustle, rebound, and, and make my shots. And so that kind of got me noticed on a on an AU team uh, in, out of South Carolina, played with those guys, played against national guys, you know, played on the national scene. Then I played sophomore year, played with Team Charlotte out of uh, Charlotte, and then played on the national scene. Then my junior year, played with Team Loaded. Um, and so I think year after year, I just, I've just i always been on that national scene, but it just didn't really hit and break through the surface until um, my, my junior year when I, when I played with Team Loaded. And I think that just the development and just staying with it and just kind of having those that foundation of hard work I think that just not worrying about whatever everybody else is doing and just stay in that tunnel vision. And, of course, we had some wins and losses within it. You know, you just had to, some trial and error. Everything wasn't perfect. But I think that though having those things where, okay, you know you lost the game. Okay, why'd you lose the game? Well, all right, we're back in the lab. Let's get it. It ain't the worst thing in the world. But now at one day it's going gonna, it's gonna to click. And when it click, uh, it's gonna, we're not just going to, you know, bust down the door. We're going to tear the whole wall down. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a marathon. And I know you mentioned some loaded in your, your junior year, and I think you averaged around tw uh, 19 points um, in high school your junior year and, and uh, you know, really started to get on the scene. Um, I, think, I think you scored around, two. Nah, let's see, 2,217 points in your high school career. That's a lot of points, my man. That's a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, yeah. you know, Coach Sampson, um, you know, gets a hold of you first time. He's been quoted saying the first time that he saw you, you know, he, it was your junior season. Um, he didn't know, you know, who you were or what your recruiting rank was, but he just liked you. Um, what do you think that was that, you know, stood out to him at that time?